Okay, now I've got an old Yesu uh, FT747GX, and I'm just looking here on the internet. Obviously, it tells you how to do the general mod. Now that was done some 20 years ago. Uh, some some guys wrote here that you can do uh, a power mod as well on the single sideband. Um, you can use the the main power controller to uh, make your power variable from 250 milliwatts um, up to 100 watts. Now obviously on the, this is an old ESO here, FT747, and so I says I'll give it a try. Okay, so usually, you know, when you're talking into single sideband, uh, upper sideband, lower sideband, you've got to use your mic control to, to sort of kind of adjust your power. Uh, if it's quiet, so you'll not put as much power out, you know. Whereas you will if it's right up. But what he's saying is, uh, on the drive control, uh, which you would, you would use for carrier wave, AM and FM, this control here at the side, your drive, uh, he's saying that uh, by disconnecting a diode, that you can use this to variable your, your SSB, your single sideband, uh, from 250 milliwatts, to 100 watts, which would let you do some QRP, uh, some short range stuff on single sideband. So I said, what the hell, I'll give it a try. Um, as you can see, that's from 1991, this uh, radio. So I took the lid off it, and uh, basically what you've got to do is uh, remove the, cre the crystal filter board, which is here. That's your crystal filter board here. You've got to take that off. Now, there, there was a little plastic uh, rivet through there. I've snipped it off. Um, that's got to come off. Take that screw off there first. There's a screw there. Uh, take that off. And then, obviously, I've already cut the, the plastic from in there. I cut that off. Um, the crystal's just left out. It's all on that attached to a board and it does legs at either side. Now, I've, I've already tried this and it didn't work. Uh, I, I snipped the diode, I, I cut the, the dam, and it can easily be attached again with a, a bit of solder. Um, but uh, I don't know why anybody would post that uh, when it doesn't work. Um, I disconnected the diode, put the crystals back on, uh, screwed it back in, and when you put it to FM, it doesn't output any power, and it doesn't receive anything. You, you can tell right away it's, it's dead on a power mode sideband and on EM. Um, unless, of course, when I put the crystals back in, I didn't align the pins. Now you get, you've got three pins at this side, and I think there's about five up here. Uh, just light on. See better. Okay, so there's the radio. Obviously, your general mod, it's just a, a brown wire in there, but it was done years ago. Um, you just disconnect that, just snip it. Um, it's a black, a, a black jumper wire, and it's brown. I don't know if we can see it in here, but it's in there somewhere. A brown wire, and you just snip it. Right, so, and put the radio to one, there's a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six on a display. Power it off, power it back on, general is enabled, and you do the same to make it go backwards again. Right now, it's that. I want to take this out. Um, I'm going to have to loosen the screw again. I'll try it one more time. Um, just to prove that, ev I mean, every modification you read is a load of rubbish. Um, that you can uh, vary the, the SSB and use it for QRP. I don't believe that. I'm going to try it again. And we'll see. 